Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So today we are doing a Grove Collaborative unboxing. Oh yeah, that's right. I water cleaning supplies. <clears throat> so y'all, I actually went kind of crazy and I got really excited because I was just like looking through their stuff and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know they had that. So I ordered, I ordered a lot of stuff. So I have two orders, the two boxes, and I'll show you guys. <sighs> The other one's like super heavy, so I'm not gonna pick it up until we get stuff out of it. But like, I don't know how they fit all the crap I ordered in this box. I just have no idea. All right, so let me, let's do the heavy one first. I wanna do the heavy one. Watch as I fail at opening up. Oh, that's serious, guys. I don't know if I should even be trusted. This is serious. All right, so we got our box. We've got, Stuff. See, I told you guys, look at all that stuff. I bought all that stuff. I just, seriously, I was like looking and scrolling and getting super excited. So it happens. Y'all, and then I'm like telling my husband, maybe I should do the bills and you should just not look at how much I spent on cleaning supplies. Just, just don't look. All right, I'm totally gonna set this down so I can show you guys a little easier. Drum roll, please. All right, so I got some microfiber all-purpose cloths. So I'm actually really excited to try these. I have some microfiber towels that I've been using for cleaning that I got from like, I think Toys R Us when they were going out of business and they suck. So I'm hoping these are a little better. So the ones I have, like you clean and it just kind of piles up all of the dust in here and then it's just in larger piles all over your sink or counter. So I'm excited to try these, and if I like them, I'm totally gonna get a bunch more. Oh, by the way, if any of you use Grove, have you guys tried the dryer balls, and do you like them? Because I don't really use dryer sheets, and so I wanted to, I was thinking about buying them, and I was like, I don't know if these are good or not. All right, so I will go ahead and show you guys. We'll take these out individually, but I will show you. Oh, so heavy. Ta-da! So this box is all cleaning supplies. The other one is more like goodies and other things. All right, so the first thing I have is the glass cleaner. I wanted to try this because I threw away my Windex. I was like, I am done with you Windex. And so I wanted to try this. I've been using vinegar and I hate the smell of vinegar. So while it does do a really good job at cleaning windows and mirrors, I hate the smell the entire time I'm cleaning. All right, so let's go ahead and smell this and see if it actually smells like lemons or something pleasant. Oh, that does smell good. It's a little, it's strong in the bottle, obviously, but it does smell really good. The only negative is I don't think this is gonna last me very long at all. So I may have to start just making my own. All right, so the next thing we have is the Peony Multi-Surface Spray. So I've heard a whole bunch of reviews of this one, that it's their favorite scent, and they're so happy that it came back. So it does smell good, you guys. It, it's strong smelling, so if you like a really light smell, this may be a little more flowery. So I may be getting some of this for my mama. I know she'd like that smell. All right, and so then I also got, I got the set of the peonies. So I got the dish soap along with this multi-surface spray. And it came with a room freshener. So I haven't tried the room freshener yet, so I'm really excited about that, um, especially with pets and kids and stuff. It's just really hard to keep your house clean and smelling nice. Oh, and also my husband has a whole bunch of allergies, so I can't just like leave a Glade plug-in or anything like that. So it's hard to keep my house smelling nice while also not having any smells in it. All right, and then we also have hand soap. So I bought the pack of the room freshener with the multi-surface spray, the dish soap, and the hand soap. All right, so the next one is the mint. And this one I'm really excited about. I love the smell of mint. It just smells really fresh and clean and just nice. So let's go ahead and smell this. I'm excited. Sorry if I sound stuffy, you guys. Apparently Georgia hates me. Or I hate Georgia. It's 
It's probably mutual. I'm having allergies. Oh, that's nice. It's really light smelling. Like, it's not an overpowering smell. So that's nice. I think I'm going to use this one before I use the peony. All right, and so it's the same with the mint. I got the room freshener, the hand soap, and the dish soap. And this is good because I think I'm going to put this on my husband's sink in the bathroom so that he can have a very light and not womanly smelling hand soap in the bathroom for him. All right, so in this box, there's one more set that I got. It came with the glass cleaner. So I also got the baking soda cream cleaner and the vinegar gel no rinse cleaner. All right, so I didn't know that the vinegar gel no rinse cleaner existed. So as it says, you don't rinse it, you just wipe it on and Presumably it dries. So it says that it's good for sinks, stainless steel appliances, showers, tubs, tiles, and glassware. And it says all you do is either squirt some on there and rub it in, or you put it on a towel and then you rub it into whatever it is you're cleaning. So this might be nice to use in my sinks. I just use soap. And it never really looks nice at all. So this may be a good way to clean my sink. All right, and so I'm really excited about this one too. This is the baking soda cream cleaner. Y'all, I was using Comet to clean my kids' bathtub, and they take baths because they're one and three. And so this is a much better way to go. So even if I don't get every single particle out of the bathtub, at least they're not bathing in Comet. All right, box number two. Oh yeah, who's excited? At least one of us. You can pretend. It's okay. Aw, this time I got a thank you. And pretty handwriting. That's so sweet. Alright, and then more stuff that I bought. And these same. They owe me a free gift after buying all this stuff, right? Ta-da! Alright, so I'm just going to randomly start grabbing. Oh, yeah. So we have been using this for a while. It is a cast iron brush and scraper. Yeah, so we've been using this on our steel pans and our cast iron pans because we switched over and this thing is amazing. But like, we had one and then I kept, I left it in the dishwasher um, every time we ran the dishwasher and it can't, the wood handle can't handle the heat. So it's definitely gonna need to be hung up somewhere and not washed in the dishwasher. So we had to get a new one. But this thing is awesome if you have cast iron or if you have any kind of pan that you're not supposed to wash with soap and scrub like that. So we don't even use soap, we just scrub the food off and you're good to go for the next time. For those of you that don't know, you don't wash cast iron. We're not like gross or anything. You just don't wash it because it's seasoned. All right, so the next thing is the... Ah, so the next thing is the bubble up. I'll show you guys. I got the plain one. I didn't get the the spring one because I'm going to use it year round and I don't want to change them out. And I'm not sure flower, wildflowers during Christmas is what I want in my bathroom. So for those of you that haven't seen this, it's just a little bowl and a little scrub brush. And then I'll pop this out. It has like a little spring. So all you do is you fill this guy up with soap and water or just soap and then you just get your brush wet. And then you put this thing in, and then when you want to clean something, you just push down and get some soap, and then you scrub. So I had one of these in the kitchen sink, and it was okay. I didn't really use it. My husband liked it, but he destroyed the crap out of it. He was, we didn't have the cast iron brush, so he was scrubbing cast iron with it, and it, that brush is not made for that. So we're actually keeping, I got two of these, and I am going to put them in each of the bathrooms so that I can scrub the sinks whenever I see that they're dirty. Cause I don't know about you guys, but like my children get toothpaste everywhere. So being able to scrub the sink without like using my hands to try and clean it, which doesn't really work, is gonna be nice. And also like for some reason, you guys, I clean my bathrooms once a week. And for some reason we get gunk built up around the drain, which is really gross and embarrassing. So I'm sad you guys. I thought I ordered something and I didn't order it and it makes me sad. So 
the Bubble Up, they have a soap version so that you can put your sponge in there and you leave it in there and when you're ready to use it, you just push down and you have some soap on your sponge. And I was like, oh my God, that is so much better than leaving a bunch of soap out. But I didn't order it. Silly Tabby. So we totally have three more things. All right, so I did order an essential oil. I tried to show you guys, but it's really white, so I don't even think you'd be able to see it. It's awake and it has, I'm totally not gonna say this right, bergamot oil, orange oil, lime oil, grapefruit oil, and lemon oil. I'm totally gonna go start the diffusers right now. Oh, that's really, oh yeah, that smells really good. It reminds me of like clean, it smells clean. Like the lemon and orange mixture, just it's very citrusy and clean, so I'm excited. So apparently that's one of my favorite essential oils is like the citrus ones. All right, and so the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, if you guys aren't using these spray bottles, I absolutely love them. I have vinegar in one of them, and then another one I have the Miss Myers Multi Spray. For those of you that don't know, Miss Myers makes a multi-surface spray that's in concentrate, and like it's this gigantic bottle, and you only need like two teaspoons in a bottle like this in order to use it, and so it lasts forever. But what I will tell you is like, I am using the lavender and I can't really smell it anymore. So I think while it is still cleaning, it doesn't really smell nice anymore. All right, so the last thing is a gift. It's this Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrated. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. It is a mystified moisturizer. It's coconut milk. I already said that. Ultra hydrating for dry skin. So. My son is up. I better hurry because he's all like, Mama do it! Mama do it! Are any of your guys' kids like that? Like mine. My son cannot do anything without me. Alright, so apparently you just... Alright, so apparently you just spray it on your skin. I didn't shake it. Read the directions, Tabby. This is like every video. Stop being stupid, Tabby. All right. Okay, it has a little bit of a coconut smell. Um, it's really light, so that's nice. We'll try it, right? Free is free is free. All right, y'all. So that is it. This is all the crap that I bought for cleaning. I'm excited. I love cleaning. I really do, you guys. Like, there's nothing that feels better than the success of a clean house or clean things because you're like, I did that. I saw progress. Things happened, right? All right, y'all. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment, please leave it below. And as usual, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.